I'm gonna rank every brawler from the least fun to the most fun in Brawl Stars. This is not a competitive tier list. This is all about how fun a brawler is to play and how annoying it is when you get them for a quest. I might adjust things as we go on, but for right now, my least favorite brawler to play, I mean, I like playing her, but come on. Man, you really nailed this, Kairos. This is such a great video idea. People oh, oh no. The comments. Oh no! I just realized this video might be a mistake because I'm sure I'm gonna make a lot of you guys upset. And also, these brawlers are super fun to play, so how do you choose? We're gonna go bull next, okay? There's something really satisfying about bull charging up his super and landing into somebody and knocking them back and blowing. Like, he's, he's fun to play, but a lot of the time playing bull is all about trying to charge your super. It's like so long. And once you finally do, you gotta sit and wait for the right opportunity to use it. Move them right there since Jackie's more boring. And next we've got Colette. There we go. That's the right order there. There's nothing more frustrating than getting 15 kills required as Colette. You ever play her against Tick? It's incredibly frustrating. We've got a lot more brawlers to rank, but first, Supercell sent me a package. They sent this huge thing to me because I want a brawly. Thank you very much, Supercell. I appreciate that. Stick around the end and I'll show you everything that's in the box. But first, I wanted to give a huge thank you to Mobile Legends Bang Bang for sponsoring this video. Mobile Legends Bang Bang is a 5v5 MOBA game with matches that are full of PvP action from start to finish. Click the link below to download now. Mobile Legends Bang Bang has collaborated with some of the biggest IPs to bring some of your favorite characters to the game. This includes Alucard's Obi-Wan Kenobi skin and Cyclops' Master Yoda skins from the Star Wars universe. Not to mention Optimus Prime, Meg Megatron and Bumblebee from Transformers. There's also over 100 different heroes to choose from, and they all have unique abilities that are actually pretty easy to learn. Every hero has one passive ability, two regular abilities, and then their ultimate ability, which is really strong. You're literally never gonna run out of new strategies and heroes to play, which is one reason this game is so awesome. Okay, now I want you to pay attention to this because from February 11th through the 24th, Orange Juice, Tag, Ben Tim, and myself are competing against each other in the Mobile Legends Bang Bang Star Cup. And you have a chance to compete with us to win up to $10,000 in prizes. The top five people on my team will have an opportunity to team up with me and fight against the other teams. And you better believe it when I say that the Kairos team is going to dominate. Just make sure you sign up from February 11th through the 24th. And signing up is as easy as downloading the game, clicking the link in the description below, and filling out the registration form. Also use this code right here for an exclusive bonus, including a double XP card and two hero trial packs. Once again, a huge thank you to Mobile Legends Bang Bang for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to participate in the Star Cup and team with me to win $10,000. Okay, next, I'm gonna put Frank. Now, this is, no, can I do that? Can I put Frank here in the F tier, really? No, no, we can't, we can't. We're gonna put Squeak in here, okay? Squeak is next. Something really frustrating about trying to throw your shots and people being able to just dodge them no matter what, every single time. Like his super, come on. Come on, yeah, he's annoying. I can't believe I almost put Frank in the F tier. <laughs> what? And this is a hard decision. I, I I think I am gonna put Rosa here in the F tier here. Okay, I like playing Rosa. I actually do a lot. You make bushes, you sit in bushes, you wait when somebody gets close, you smash your button. Like. Okay, I think that's for the F tier. I think we're gonna go into the C tier, starting off with Shelly, okay? And the reason why she's not in the F tier is because when you get that satisfying super, just blasting anybody in the face is, it's, it's, oh, satisfying. But most of the time playing her is not satisfying. Kind of like playing Pam, right? She can heal, she can do a lot of damage, she can take a lot of damage, she can do a lot of things, but she's not that great at any of them. <laughs> just, just okay at everything. Okay, next, and I thought about this really hard, we got Colonel Ruffs, okay? And the thing with Colonel Ruffs is that he's just really support. He doesn't do a lot of damage. His attack mechanics are really cool, but most of the time you don't even want to throw a super on himself. And I, I don't know. He's just like, yeah, they're, they're, he's just not as fun. He's not bad. He's just not fun. Okay, Frank, I held it off as long as I possibly could. I will admit, I do enjoy playing Frank. I really do. He's really fun. Getting that satisfying stun when you land your stun on somebody. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. I can't, I can't, I can't do it yet. I can't do it, Frank. Okay, I think Lou. Lou, Lou is, Lou is less exciting to play than Frank, right? Yeah, you can freeze people, but they can stay out of the super, and you know, it's, it's kind of hard to hit all of your attacks with his attack, and you know, yeah. Lou, Lou feels better than Frank does. Next, I'll go with Mr. P, okay? His super feels kind of unrewarding a lot. Of time because I mean it builds up after a while, but you know he's yeah I don't know there there's just better damage dealers and he, he's he's weird. Okay, I thought about this one long and hard, and I think next we've got Poco. He is not a damage dealer. He doesn't get kills very often. He is he's good. He's really good, and he's, he can make some great plays with him. 
but it's just not quite as satisfying as getting those sweet kills. And along those same lines, I, I think I can put Byron. Once I play Byron a lot, I like playing him, but it's not as satisfying as some other brawlers. Okay, and I also feel good about putting Sandy in the C tier. I don't know what it is with Sandy. Every time I play Sandy, I just die. <laughs> I know Sandy's good, and Sandy can make some amazing turnarounds for your team. So, sorry, comment section. Don't be too mean to me. <laughs> I think that's it for the C tier and the F tier. Let's move on to the B tier. Now, B tier is going to be a little bit different. Rather than ranking them from worst to best, I'm going to put them in different categories, okay? Starting off with throwers. I personally think that Barley is the least fun thrower to play. Then, I think is probably Grom. Next has got to be Tick, in my opinion. Okay, and you know what? I'm gonna break these this rule a little bit here, but I'm gonna put Dynamite and Sprout in the A tier, even though we're still talking about B tier brawlers. Cause I think they're I think they're more fun, right? Dynamite's got the Dyna jump. You got Sprout who could like place down walls and just like totally block off the enemy. Like Sprout and Dynamite are both a little fun. In fact, I'll probably put Dynamite higher than Sprout actually. Okay, I'm actually going completely out of order. Frank. Yeah, yeah, you've made it this far. I'm gonna put you in the B tier, and I'm gonna put Nita in the C tier. I feel like Nita is, she can be really fun and satisfying if you get some like hyper bear on the, like a high safe or something like that, but she's fine. But Frank is more fun than Nita, I decided. Just now. This video is so hard to make. Okay, next we got some long range kind of snipers, okay? Starting off with the B in the B tier. She is definitely the least fun out of all of these. Then we got Piper, okay? Then we got Brock. Brock is more fun than Piper, who's more fun than B. Actually, we got Bell between Brock and Piper, I think. And the most fun of these has got to be Nani, right? You got that super, you're flying around, like Nani is so fun. In fact, you know what? We're doing it. We're doing it. Yeah, Nani's more fun than these two, that's that's for sure. Okay, next we got just some random brawlers, okay? We got Ems, who's who's fun, but not the most fun. We got Jean. Oh, I don't know where to put Jean. Bo, Bo's next, that's who's next. Yeah, Griff is after Bo. Then we got Colt. Honestly, Colt's really fun to play if you're really good at him, but if you're not very good at him, then he's not that great, or he's not as fun. Then Rico, Rico's very fun to play. In fact, you know what, I'm gonna put Rico. Yeah, okay, right, right, right in front of Colt. Yeah, I, I think that's fine, that's fine. Then we got Penny, who I feel like Penny, Penny is really fun to play, in my opinion. Now, there's nothing more satisfying than seeing that turret just destroy the enemy team like she can be really fun especially if you get them some of those splash hits we also have jesse oh but i love playing jesse she's gotta be in the a tier okay 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 it's fine it's fine i'm having an identity crisis here with this video how did 8-bit survive this long no 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 yeah 8-bit deserves to go way down there what? how did he survive i don't even get it i guess he's just that forgettable Sorry, 8-bit lovers. We've got, we got Gene here at the top of the B tier along next to Surge. Yeah, both of them can be really fun in the right moments and with the right plays, but not as fun as some of these other brawlers. In fact, while we're, while we're at it, we'll, we'll put Terra here. Yeah, Terra's more fun than Gene and less fun than Sprout. Yes, but also more fun than Max, in my opinion. Okay, I feel like Ash has to go down into the C tier right there. That's where Ash deserves to go. Yeah, that, that feels good. The trash night. We'll put Amber down right next to Frank, cause you know, he only ever auto in with her anyway. But seeing those numbers is really satisfying. Now Lola is a tricky one because I feel like she's a lot of fun and you can do some insanely cool plays with her. Most of the time though, it's still just the most, it's the best to just put her super right on top of her and you just end up, you know, it's, it ends up being a little bit more boring. So I, I don't know, I think that I'll put her like, here feels really good for Lola, I think. Uh, we also got BB. She's like a really fun kind of tanky brawler to play, and she's really fast. I, I think that she's slightly more fun to play than Frank, but not as fun as Barley. That's good. Here's where things get very debatable. <laughs> A tier brawlers, guys, let's go. I think probably the least fun out of the remaining brawlers is got to be Carl. He's really fun with his power throw and his super is super fun. I mean, we're talking about the A tier brawlers. He's really fun, just not as fun as some of the other brawlers that we're gonna talk about. We also got Spike, who is technically kind of a thrower, so we'll put him right here. I actually, I think that's actually exactly how I wanna put him. We've got Meg, who's got that super cool super. A lot of time you have to be really careful with her though, 
Well, I mean, she's she's really fun to play. We've got El Primo. Not as fun as Nani, but a little bit more fun than Meg. You do have to be really careful with him. You spend a lot of time waiting for him, but once you get that super up, oh man, he's fun. He's not quite as fun as Fang. Fang is very fun, but it's, it's actually proves to be really difficult to get a lot of chain supers with him. Way more difficult than I thought it was going to be. And then we have Daryl, who I'm going to say is the most fun a tier fun brawler and it's funny because he's so similar to bull but his supers are just it, it, he's, he's more fun than bull is he's, he's just more fun he, he, i don't know what it is maybe it's the fact that bull just sucks so much right now and i told you this wasn't like a competitive tier list but it's kind of turning out to be not not completely but just a little bit. I mean, if a brawler is not good, they're hugely not fun to play. An exception to that, though, is Gale. Gale, the worst of the S tier brawlers, but an S tier brawler because of how much cheese he can do. Oh my gosh, he's so much fun. After Gale, I think we've got Crow. He's very fun. You can do some really cool things with him, but you kind of have to play it cautiously. In fact, I could I could justify putting him in the A tier, but I, I'm going to leave him in the S tier for now. Oh, man. And then we got these five brawlers, these assassins who are all so much fun to play. The order of this is going to be it's going to be hard. It's going to be tricky. But after Crow, I'm going to go with Stu. He is so good. He's so good. And he's, he's really, really fun. He's a lot of fun. You can break walls. You can dash all over the place. He's really fun. Definitely S tier. And next, I know there's people that are going to not like this, that he's not at the top. But we've, oh, whoopsies. Definitely the S tier, though. We've got Edgar. I mean, you're jumping all over the place. You're punching people. You're healing up. You're killing people when they don't even think you should be able to survive. He's a lot of fun to play. And next up, we've got Buzz. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is feeling good. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Buzz, you just pull yourself everywhere. I mean, you stun people. Lots of fun to play. And it's a tough choice between Leon and Mortis, but I think that I've got to pick Leon for the second most fun brawler to play and Mortis as the most fun to play. I, th I think this is it. Hold on a minute. Colette's more fun than 8-Bit. Pam's more fun than Colonel Ruffs. She's more fun than Ash. Lou's more fun than Mr. P. He's also more fun than Poco. Byron's more fun than Sandy and Nita. BB's less fun than Amber. And also Frank is more fun than BB. Tick's more fun than B. Brock is more fun than M's. Brock's also more fun than Bo. And more fun than Griff. I think Penny's too high. She's got to go down between Griff and Brock. Surge is more fun than Gene. Surge is more fun than Max. Meg is more fun than El Primo. Dynamite's more fun than El Primo. I actually think Edgar is more fun than Buzz. I'm switching that one. Okay, now it's done. Now it is finished. I feel good about this. I am not going to feel good about it after the video is released, though, because I'm sure your guys' comments are just going to be really nice. Just like heartfelt. Like you're just really going to take my feelings into consideration. I just know you guys are. Thanks, guys. I appreciate that. Now let's see what Supercell sent. Okay, first of all, we got a giant bag. Glass Royale giant bag with the hoodie in it and some Crown Championship World stickers. We've also got another hoodie. Clash of Clans. Oh my gosh, another one of these. I love this shirt. Brawl Stars shirt with that logo. I mean, look at that. This is one of my favorite shirts. I'm glad that I have a new one. Bounty Blue Star for your keychain. <laughs> I'm totally going to put this in my pocket with my keys, right? Like, oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Bruce. He's so soft. I'm so glad that I got it. There's another one over there. I love it. I love it so much. Got some uh, epoxy Brawl Stars stickers right there. That's pretty cool. A Nendoroid spike. This is super awesome. It says to the victor, go the spoils. And when you open it, it says, I hope your name is Victor. <laughs> and in here, we've got... A little showdown smoke. We got a little gem. Awesome. Some more Brawl Stars stickers, which are super cool. Now, this is cool. These are Brawl Stars pins. They're super dope. They're like metallic and everything. Like, so cool. We also got something special in here. It's another spike. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love it. So awesome. But that's not everything. We've got probably the most important thing for this whole package here. Brawlies 2021. This is super cool. Content creator rewards. The best Kairos challenge. Kairos. From all the Kairos out there, you are all you are and always will be the best. Congratulations, Kairos. <laughs> and there it is. The official Brawly. And that is that is shiny. And it's heavy too. You gotta give props to Supercell for doing stuff like that. You know, obviously. 
like a lot of this stuff I already have because I've been doing content and I purchased a lot of it myself. But this was sent out to a lot of people within the community who won various different like Brawly awards and stuff like that. And that, that's really cool. That's really awesome. So let me know what you guys thought about this video right here and let me know which brawlers you think should be much higher on the list. And once again, be nice to me in the comment section. You guys can check out some more Brawl Stars content right here, as well as some Brawl, some, some Clash Mini content right here and some Free Fire content right there. There's another video that you can check out right here for Brawl Stars right there. Thank you so much for your support. Don't forget to use code Kairos in the Brawl Stars shop. And for now, this is Kairos time ticking by and we will see you in Brawl Stars.